Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the uh, weekly contest 338, prime subtraction operation. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So this one can definitely be tricky. The, the, um, the strategy behind this is really just look at the constraints, if you ask me. Uh, it's that each number can be only up to a thousand and the length can only up be, be up to a thousand. So that means that you can implement a, a greedy solution, right? And what I mean by that is that given an array, um, just try to make the first number as small as possible, right? And then, and then do the same for the number, the second number, and the third number, and the fourth number, and so forth, right? In this case, there's going to be n numbers, and each one of those numbers um, can only go up to a thousand. So you can try to. So the way that you would brute force this of um, getting as small as as possible. But I mean, they're, 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 you can definitely optimize it, perhaps. But the way that I did it is just tr trying to see if the first number can be a one. Can the first number be a two? Can the first number be a three and so forth? And then next number, just check to see if it's at least one bigger than the number, uh, the last number, two bigger than the last number, dot, dot, dot. And that's basically the idea. Um, and of course, the way you check this is, for example, if you want to see if this can be a one, well, you have a number four, you want to get to a one, so the subtraction is three, and then as the rule, you have to see if that number is prime. And that's basically how I did it. Uh, first of all, I calculate the prime. This is the SIF, of course. Um, this, this, uh, sorry, I have to make sure. <laughs> I don't know. I always feel like I, I messed up on the spelling, so I, I, I had to Google it. But um, yeah, um, this comes up a bit. It's a little bit awkward in the sense that I feel like that's a little bit too much to know for a Q2, but maybe things are kind of a little bit getting harder these days. But I would also say that I would not actually expect this to be on an interview if that's what you're asking for. But I don't know. The standards are changing all the time, and we're obviously in a tough economy as as we're uh, as I'm recording this. So, you know, use your best judgment whether you you should learn this. Um, but now we have all this prime lookup table, and then that's basically what I what I told you, which is that for the first index, we just start from one, and then we just you know see if we're able to get to uh, the number j. And if we are, then we go to the next number and we start you know the same thing. And then at the very end, we just tr tr um, we just ch do a linear check to see if it is in fact. Um, strictly increasing, and that's pretty much it. Um, this is going to be n times r time, where r is the range of the number, and it goes up to a thousand, so it makes it like um, a thousand square, but this isn't quite linear because r is, you know, uh, uh, this is pseudo, um, this is pseudo polynomial, is what I was going to say. Uh, oh. uh, the o of r, well, I guess o of n plus r, actually. I was going to say R is based off the prime. I was a little bit lazy, so I just kind of hard code this. But you could buy just taking the max number for a little bit of a performance boost. Um, but obviously, the way that uh, the way that uh, the way that I did it is linear space because I'm modifying the the nums away. But you can actually just keep track of the last number, and um, it's just that it would make you know more if statements maybe. So that's why I didn't do it that way. But but then then you would get rid of the linear space or the end part of the space, and it would still be pseudo, pseudo polynomial based off the range of the numbers. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, you can watch me try to do it next, but the 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 live portion is a little bit jumpy because you know the server was having issues. So don't blame me. <laughs> uh, but you can watch it now. Let me done somewhere. All right, let's skip ahead then. Okay, so you're coming soon. <sighs> pick an index i and pick before and pick a prime strictly less than num sub i and subtract p from num sub i. Uh, this is going to be a crap contest, isn't it? But okay. So, do 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 prime, okay. Second, so, strictly increasing. Hmm. That's interesting. A thousand? Hmm. Um, still, okay, unknown error. Can be unknown error for a little bit. Okay, fine. That's the focus. Hmm. 
Okay, so Each number can change, not that many times, really, but, and then what? Mm, I guess greedy actually is probably what we want, right? So basically we want this to be a five, so we cannot, oh wait, actually, yeah, maybe just keep on removing stuff. Okay, this is kind of, uh, hard to proof one though. Mm. Yeah, I gotta stop looking at that one. We'll go back to it later. Um, we want to get all the primes. Uh, I should have had the prime sift ready. Then, uh, And then now, uh, okay. Do you have to be positive? Oh, you have to pick. Oh, you haven't picked before. Oh, I actually messed this up. Hmm. I mean, we need this anyway, but I think my idea is a little bit off. Uh, we should always make the this as small as possible oh strictly less than okay i actually was thinking about some really big one okay so hmm. i usually want to refresh this just to see yeah that's why i didn't want to refresh this but then now i'm loading again and i can't even type into it uh what a mess this is this there's no way this contest is going to count right i can't even open this problem. <clears throat> uh, I was going to, let's see, can I think about what to write? Uh, one. Oh, I know how to do it, but, uh, but I can't do it because, well, I guess I'll come back to it. No, I think now I know how to do it. Mm. Oh, it just came back. Uh, okay, let me just finish typing this one then. This video is going to be all sort of mess, but uh, but basically, um, for i in range of n, um, for if uh, i is equal to zero, we could see if if was it num sub i minus J so for J in range of from zero to nums mm, well we want it from num sub i minus one to z to one which is zero minus one okay if so if J is the new number uh, If J is the new number, so I guess this has to be at least a two. If num sub i minus J is prime, now I'm doing this in a weird way. So we, what we want is we want this to be one and then num sub i, right? Basically, if then now this is a prime, 
then we just break, right? We said num sub i is equal to j, we break and we're happy. Okay, and then else for j in range of num sub i minus uh, i minus one plus one has to be at least one bigger, and then num sub i, then same idea really. Right, and then just do one more pass. If num sub i is uh, bigger than or equal to num sub i plus one, then we return false, return true. I don't know if I could submit, but yeah, I still can run it, but I think that should be good. This is only a thousand square. Um, is that true? Maybe. Hmm. This one's easy, I think, but well, okay. I have to get it right first. Oh, uh, oops. Eh, well. True, true, force. Okay. I don't know. Should I YOLO this? I guess waiting doesn't really matter, right? Two and three. Oh, come on, YOLO. Too late. Get that thing done. True, true, force. Submit. Okay, good. That's the loading screen. Pretty much the story of today. So, yeah, stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Oh yeah, wait. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.